we will defeat the radical left, the socialist Marxists, and the critical race theorists. The Biden administration has turned the border into the single greatest disaster. Our movement is the greatest in American history, and it has just begun. Former President Trump touting his administration's successes while taking aim at President Biden during CPAC in Dallas. The Brewer Group CEO Jack Brewer attended and then spoke at the conference and joins us with more this morning. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Great to be back with you guys. Of course, as always. Um, I want to pull this up really quickly so we can show this. This is the uh, CPAC straw poll. Um, it shows Trump at 70 percent. The number two was DeSantis with 21 percent. And then everyone else, uh, as far as Rand Paul, Nikki Haley, Ted Cruz, Tucker Carlson, they came in at 1 percent or even lower with those people who could be um, contenders for the Republican nominee. OK, so we're seeing this. If you go back to late February, that's a boost from that straw poll in Orlando. Um, it was 50 percent back then. Do you think the longer that we are in the Biden administration and the longer this year goes on, that that's a show of, you know, what people want with um, a president? Sometimes you just don't know how good you have it uh, until it's gone. I think that's what you're seeing right now. I think people are seeing what the Biden administration is doing uh, with the debauchery of various policies that they came in with, uh, just a, an extreme leftist agenda. Uh, and people really see what President Trump did in short, such a short time. I mean, I don't care who you are. Every family's feeling it at the gas pump. Uh, I don't care who you are. Uh, every, every family's noticing what's happening uh, with these extended lockdowns. Uh, and it just seems like having to hear Dr. Fauci and you starting to understand uh, really what was behind uh, everything going on, going on with the coronavirus in China. Uh, and it seems like uh, President Trump said, I told you so, uh, 15 times in that speech uh, yesterday. And so American people really see what's going on. And I think conservatives are getting behind President Trump because they know he's truly the leader of this party. Jack, you couldn't get a group to agree 98% that today is Monday. But look at this. The CPAC straw <laughs> poll, 98% of the people there at CPAC approve of Donald Trump. Is CPAC, though, representative of the average Republican voter throughout the country? I think it is. I think people are realizing that Donald Trump is, is not a normal Republican. I don't even consider him a Republican. Uh, I was talking to uh, Lawrence Jones earlier uh, yesterday, and I told him, look and see, look at the policy. Look at criminal justice reform. Criminal justice reform was not a Republican issue. You look at opportunity zones and how it uplift, lifted the most underserved Americans. Those are not typical Republican issues. You look at school choice uh, that's focusing on going and, and helping these inner city communities to give them access to quality education when they're being deprived of it. Those aren't typical Republican issues. And so I think Donald Trump has done that. He's, he's broke those barriers. And I don't think he's a normal Republican. I think he's one that's, uh, that has a lot of middle ground policies uh, that the American people are realizing were actually benefiting us a lot. And Jack, you had the opportunity to also speak at CPAC. Let's pull that sound bite up for the viewers. We are one nation under God. So we can't put our flag above God. We can't put our families above God. We can put nothing above God. Okay, and then as far as, you know, when you talked about cancel culture, I thought it was interesting because, you know, everyone pretty much calls it cancel culture. You'll, you'll hear it a thousand times a day if you turn the TV on. But you said it was standing up against Satan. Can you elaborate on that for us? Yeah, the Bible teaches us that the wrath of man is unrighteous according to God. Uh, man doesn't have the authority to bring wrath on other men. Only God has that authority. And I think what cancel culture is, is doing and what so many leftist policies do uh, is it replaces uh, God with man. And it starts to, to, to really... Uh, go against what scripture has taught us. And I wanted to make that really loud and clear because the Bible teaches us that Satan still 
kills and destroys. And if you want to counsel someone, you want to destroy them. Uh, and so I think there is a satanic spirit uh, to the council culture that we as Americans have to call out because it's really what's hurting our land right now. It's dividing us. Uh, if you look at what's going on in our nation, we've never been so divided at a time that we should be unified. Going into the Olympic Games, normally a country is unified around their flag and around their country. Uh, but we have to turn on the TV and hear about critical race theory and, and worry about sending us to, to our kids to school where they're going to be taught that, that because of the color of their skin, they're either a victim or an oppressor. Uh, these things are, are not of God and not of the United States of America, because if we're truly one nation under God, we will act as such and we'll keep God uh, number one in the unity uh, that that brings. And so I just tried to make that very clear yesterday at CPAC. Jack, quickly on this final topic, thousands of Cubans taken to the streets to demand an end to the dictatorship there. GOP leaders, of course, warning America could be the next failed socialist experiment. Jack, why would any American look at the conditions in Cuba and say, hey, let's copy that? 30 seconds to you, sir. They just don't understand. My IT uh, guy here at my company, dear friend of mine, his kids are stuck there. They can't buy groceries, can't buy food. Uh, he doesn't know what to do. He's in tears every day. Uh, this is ridiculous. You look at Cuba, you look across uh, at Haiti and see the political turmoil they're also in. I mean, Americans have to realize that we are so lucky to be in this great land. And it's the reason why people from all over the world are flocking to be here. Uh, I pray for the Cuban people, uh, and I hope that this nation continues to pray for them. Jack Brewer, as always, great to have you on the program. Looking forward to seeing you a lot more, especially as football season approaches and our Giants are potentially somewhat good this year. Jack, as always, thanks. Thanks, Jack. Go Blue.